Hello ladies and gentlemen, Cone Dodger here, and welcome back to the Cone Landers of Settle Corsa League. Today we are at the lovely home of the Belgian Grand Prix Spa, which is a huge track for little slow cars like this. These races will be short on laps, only a five lap heat, but plenty long in uh, actual time covered as the lap times are in the nearly three minute range for this car. This is a track that with a small slower car like this, drafting can come into huge play as uh, you can pass each other and pass each other back on the straightaways. There are a lot of very difficult turns here that can lead to a lot of calamity. Let's hope we survive. Good luck everybody. Good, Good luck everybody. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Let's hope that nobody GG. goes. Uh, BGL. Nobody goes full uh, <laughs> Grosjean here. Good start. Whoops! I will this time. Me <laughs> and Maestro had a good start. Uh, where you do it, Here, please. Did I get two of them? I did. And we're right on Sharky. Look at the mess right behind us. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. They're wrecking. I know. Damn it! Come on! <laughs> Meanwhile, let's go too wide through Eau Rouge with Sharky. Why is it always me and you to hit each other, Dehan? Huh? It's a bit spicy on your cone. Well, so it's just the like three of us now. There's two races this season I've had Nihon thrown at me. That was interesting. <laughs> Sorry, Werner. Bet you're happy you're up here now, Jim. Yeah! I just watched Maestro bounce between two cars. I knew as soon as I saw three wide it was going to be a disaster. There's no way you can do that there. Alright, well I should focus on trying to get to Shark here. Or at least picking up some lines. I've been slow. I've been very slow here. So I gotta stay with him. Or I'm not going to pick up any lines. The draft is huge here, if we can keep in it. Just a little loose on exit. Everything's fine. He just so casually pulls away, just like he does. No easy heat this week. We had all the big names in this one. And we saw how that went. Time you get the the big name, big names, the big names in the same heat. You're gonna get a lot of people that think they belong up front. Wait a minute, I'm supposed to be up there, and then they all crash in a turn two. They're learning. I really wanted to watch how he's getting through there, because that's I've not gotten any solid indication of how to do that yet. Through that uh, first lap calamity, we might get some like new people up in the future race. People having unexpected good runs. It's just going to be me and him, and I don't think I'm going to have anything for him. Unless he makes a mistake, and we all know he doesn't do that. Let's see if in a second back we get any draft. That's the only saving grace I could have, is a draft. Not seeing it right now. Pretty even. We need to be within, like, I would say three quarters of a second. Just 
He had a pretty decent turn there. He has a much different line through here, that's for sure. <laughs> Using all the track limits. I gotta do everything I can, though. He's got the speed. We're currently on equal weights, too. 180 kilograms each, I think. So it will be nice to actually uh, finish behind him, because we'll get off weights. I finally have a lighter car than him. As you can tell, I've pretty much already given up hope of winning the race. Staying with them better than I anticipated. I was like two seconds off in qualifying. Just some terrible qualifying laps, lots of traffic, lots of madness. This is going to seem like a really fast race, even though it's the same distance and time wise as the rest of them. But we're only doing five laps because this track is so big and this car is so slow. Sorts out of shape there. That was no good. 57 0, that's basically what I was running in qualifying. Eesh. I've been in the 55s over the course of the weekend here. So I'll just focus on trying to get back to that. It's a tough track. I've never actually driven Spa in a slow car like this, only in like open wheel cars and faster GT cars. It's a very different experience. And unlike the tighter tracks, you don't get as much opportunity to make up time. There's just like certain points around the track where you have to hit the mark perfectly, but because they're so spread out, it's, it's like harder to memorize. See how many more racers' excuses can I load up into this? Yeah, I was back to the gas just a touch too early right there. Try that wider entry that he's doing. If it's working for him, odds are it's the right way to go. Good exit there. What do we got in here right now? This is not the place to check. We'll check on the straightaway. Like a sane person. Apparently it is incarcerant on the bubble and Nihon behind him. Disc golfer ahead of him. Disc golfer going with a Cooper strategy this week of no practice before the race. This week was a little weird because we had Le Mans going on, we had the F1 race before or after that, so a lot of people have been up for like many, many hours, because this is after both of those. Georgian, I know, <laughs> was up for like 26, 28 hours, took a couple hour nap, and now he's here. Such is the way of trying to get a group event together. Everybody in different time zones. It's going to be impossible. Make everybody happy. Definitely taking a wider entry there. But overall, this was a decent lap, at least in the 56s again. And seven, seven, seven tenths off on a track this big isn't so bad. Well, 
Let's see if we can get down into the 55s again. That would make me feel a little bit more confident heading into the feature. And in that feature, our main objective is going to be staying in the pack. Hopefully there is a pack. And get some draft going. Draft is pivotal. Hopefully the feature goes smoothly this week too, as far as setting it up. It's a very different entry to this, this little complex than I'm used to in the faster cars. That was a good exit through there. widen out that entry, but it's tough. I can see it being beneficial. As we're having Shirky school. He doesn't know it, but he's the instructor right now. This guy, not nearly as bad as was in like the, uh, the Star Mazda. That turn was treacherous. I really do love Spa though, it's just such a fun, flowing, and still fast track. Even if I'm not very good at it, it's still one of my absolute favorites to drive. Let's exit there. Now we're starting to match his pace. said, that's, that's important for the feature. Sure, he's going to gain some points on me here, but not many. If we can beat him in the feature, then we'll be in better shape. almost feel like maybe I closed in a little down the straightaway here. Got a lot on entry there. You can push it just a wee bit too hard through the mid. There we go. We actually had a better lap than him. It was thousandths of a second, but it was better. That line is preferred in most of the faster cars. Doesn't seem to work with this one. Now I'm encouraged. Now I feel like we might just have a chance of having a battle with him. I've gotten my feet under me. All I need is for a smooth setup between the two races here. And uh, I think we'll have a chance as long as I don't get all distraught. He's feeling some pressure now. A little too wide. Everybody's still alive in the peanut gallery? Boy, yeah. I'm still here. Oh yeah, it's been very quiet. That must mean there's a lot of angry people. I know I heard an angry Nihon. I think he's going to be my my Tony Stewart of this league. First to cause trouble, and first to get angry when other people cause trouble. But hey, I'm a Tony Stewart fan, so I guess that's kind of a compliment. Are we, like, still closing in on him? He probably backed off. Trying to let me build confidence. 
so you can shatter my dreams in the future. I know how you work, Sharky. I don't think I'm quite going to get to my 25s, but below 26s in these conditions, not too shabby. Oh, too much curb. I'm ruining that last lap. Still not too bad. We closed in on him. Like, Five tenths. Good race, Colin. Yeah, good race. I wish I could have stayed with you in the draft. I think that would have been different. That was my practice session, so now you can be fearful yeah, for the future. Uh, considering how little practice you did, I thought that was pretty good. You were you were being my instructor there for a little while. <laughs> Well, I'm happy to finish for fourth after all that happened. We have a blaster, sorry, disc. It's all good. He didn't knock him out, did he? No, okay, he's in ninth. I suppose we had that coming going too much for Shane. Good battle, though. That was a very difficult race for everybody, I do believe. This heat was pretty well stacked. We only had Gunsis missing of the... Uh, of the top five in the standings from this heat. Uh, so Gunsis probably had a pretty good heat himself there in heat one. It's unfortunate that the uh, the big one happened there in the first lap. That's kind of bound to happen throughout the season. You're going to have big wrecks. Pretty much destroyed there being any real racing happening up at the front. But I really took the opportunity this race to learn from Mr. Sharky and uh, get a good feel for the track. Hopefully that gives us a better chance in the future as I had extremely limited practice time this week. Actually got up in there and put in a time only two tenths behind his fastest time. I don't know how much he has in reserve and I don't know if he's much of a sandbagger or anything like that, but uh, it did at least give me a little confidence heading into the feature race and that feature race will hopefully go a little bit smoother than did this heat. A shout out to uh, Psychedelics getting through the madness and having a five position gain in this race, having one of his best finishes, uh, and Gem Knight having a good per performance there. He, uh, he had an interesting qualifying session that led him to having a very good qualifying lap, but uh, he took advantage of it and had a very good clean race, stayed out of the madness, and uh, came home with a good result. That'll do it for this heat. Check out heat one to see how that one shook out. And now we will move on to the feature race tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. See you then.